Hello everyone, welcome to you on my channel Think Future Onwards. Today's topic is how to create interactive dashboard using graphical presentation. The methodology which I will give you today is more practical. You will see so many videos on interactive dashboard creations, but what we will learn today, it will save your time and you will create interactive dashboard with graphical presentation with the data. So I will create now for you, you will learn it. See, this is my data. You can see it. First, you need to convert this data to a table format. I'm going to select control shift right arrow and then down arrow. It will select all my data, insert and create table. I will click on the table and it will create. Either I will click here on this link, either control plus T, control plus T. It will do the same. Okay. Yes, it is created for me. I will just make it a little bit shorter, this data. What will be the benefit of this one? I will tell you. When you are adding any data in this table now, in the future, for example, here down, if you can see it here, here, there is one blue button is down at the corner. It is creating automatically the table now. See, for example, now I'm copying this data or I'm entering the new data, it will automatically move to the down. So automatically adding your data. So you don't have to worry about that, how what to you know update your data. You can include and it will do it for you. Now I'm going to create the second step. After creating this one, I'm going to insert a pivot table. Just insert, go to the pivot table. It will create for you, see the table. Okay, now my pivot table is here. Now I want to choose as per my requirement. I need a procurement method and here there is an option weekly duration. Okay, see at the moment what data is representing, it is showing me some of the values. You can see it here, it is showing me some, but I need here average duration you have the two options just double click on the sum on this cell and it will show you the fields with what you want see i want here average and i will click it and it will convert second thing i want only up to two levels of the fraction just right click and format numbers and click numbers use the separator okay and it will do the function for us. Now I'm going to have copy and paste the same table. And instead of procurement method, I'm looking based on the city. Okay. Now, next one, I'm looking uh, based on uh, not procurement method. I'm looking based on the con contract type. See, now I am looking some some of the data now. Uh, I want to compare, uh, you know, uh, my cycle time with contract type instead of procurement method, not a duration. I'm looking for uh, the PR value, PO value and my savings. So this will also help us to show you some different graphical presentation. Now I'm going to create one graphical presentation for you here and I will create one dashboard for you here. I will create here a one dashboard. Okay. This is our pivot. I will create pivot. Okay. Now I will go here, insert. Okay. Just highlight this your data, insert. And here is pie chart. I'm inserting here pie chart. Okay. I will cut it from here and I will shift this one to the dashboard one. Okay. See here, it's there now. And you can do as well for others, uh, other data as well. For example, this one, 
I want to create, insert, I can insert the chart. See this one, either this one, whatever I'm looking for, I can choose any of them. It's up to me what I'm going to choose it. See. Right. And I will paste in here. Okay, then I'm going to make this one as well. Uh, we will convert this one. Okay, insert, chart, which chart I'm looking for. Three types of charts are there. For the 3D is there, 2D is there, 3D bars are there. What you need, you can choose. I, am look, I want to make the comparison so I will make the 2D this chart, okay? It will show me that all the data it is presenting over here. See now, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can easily understand. Uh, if you need, uh, you know, further you can filter it down by, if you will click here, you can see here, the type of the contract is here, see? It's there, one option what type of contract you want to see. For example, I don't want the LTPA, I can exclude it. So see, LTPA is removed from here. If I want to include back, just click on this one and come back to it. It will show you. Now, I want to see the data levels. See, data levels. I want to see the data levels. Uh, and I want to see the trend lines, okay? I can here add the trend line. See, it is showing the trend line for this one as well, for this one as well. See, it is very interactive. It will give you automatically the, the linkages, automatically it will develop for you. So you don't have to do uh, manually to you know stretch the lines and this, you can rotate this, okay? You can uh, uh, highlight everything, okay? You can make it more bigger. Here the same uh, for this uh, pivot table. Uh, for this uh, interactive dashboard, like uh, the pie chart, we had it. We will see that one, how this data is presented over there. Okay, I'm just making it. Uh, see here, I, I, I'm just clicking it, show the data. It is giving me the values. I want to increase the font. See, I increased the font. I made it big. And see here now. Here, one drop down is there, if you can see it. I can make a little bit bigger. See here, now drop down is there. If you want to remove any of them, you can. And if you want to keep it, just keep it as it is. I, I want all of them. So all the data is it's reflecting to me. And if I want to make it uh, downwards here, just drag and drop the information here and just stretch it and it will be there down. If I want to make this table up, up level, I can put it. Okay, and see here now, I'm going to make it a little bit up. I want to make it bigger. I can make it as per my requirement. And if I want to make it small, see, I'm dragging from the outer side. Okay, see here, I can add a chart title. I'm going to click the plus sign and it is showing me what I can do. Chart title. Okay, what is my, my chart title? Average weeks duration. average week duration, okay? So it's very easy. You can make it bold, okay? This fonts, you can see it. Uh, you can uh, spacing, whatever you are looking for. If you want directly control B, you know, you want to change the color, you can change the color. Okay, just drag and drop right and left. Okay, I want to make a little bit bigger and I want to make it a little bit smaller of this, this area. Okay, see, it will give me everything uh, very relaxing. And you have, you know, now the data is ready. See here now. Uh, 
I'm preparing this data like this one now. See, it is mixing with each other. Uh, we can uh, have certain options here. You can see here height, width, okay, scale, height, scale, width. Uh, you have the properties of this one to lock it and uh, you can make the shadows. I can show you this one. See here, it will give you the shadows. Uh, percentage wise, uh, glow, uh, what you want, 3D effects you want to do it. See here. All options are available with you. And if you want uh, you know, some uh, changes in the color, you can do it from here. See, the color is changing. Transparency level is increasing. You can do it solid colors. You can choose, uh, this is automatic now. Okay, uh, text, how you want to see the text. Okay, for example, this text. Okay, uh, transparency is there. See, it's changing automatically. You can fill the pattern, no fill. Okay, see here, solid colors, no line. You can create everything, whatever you want. See here now, and here, uh, now you can see here, it's in the middle. If I want to make it center, it will horizontal. I want to see it like this. See, it is rotating horizontal. The way I want, it will represent me this data. See here now. Uh, I want this data as it is. I want to make it big. Okay, if I want to see this one in the middle, it will come in the middle. Okay, I need to first select the data and it will give me the center. It will give me the left, right, okay, right middle, right center. See, right to left, left to right. See here now, I'm changing all these options. It's up to you how you want it. It is stacked over there, this one here. Okay, and it is a little bit up. You can bring it manually down. You can change the color of this one because it is not readable. So it is readable now. See, so many options you have it. So uh, you can uh, use this methodology. First, what you need, you can have to have uh, create the pivot tables. First, you need to convert your table. And now I will see you, show you that how it will uh, work with us, like the data which I was telling you, you, just copy and paste. See this copy, and I'm just pasting this one, and that's all. And it will show us the table below, it will be come down. See here, automatically it is creating the table. See, I'm whatever I'm adding in here, automatically it's adding see so you you don't have to worry about the data that how it will go through and uh, pivot tables after updating all the pivot tables you can just have to go data and refresh and if you want to remove the table and uh, you don't want to continue with the table in the future just highlight your data okay and uh, there is a very simple thing table design just click on the table design and convert to range. Yes, it is finished now. See, it, your data is clear now. It's not a table anymore. See, table design is finished as well. So your data is ready to present in a pivot table format, either dashboard. See, in, you can create so many dashboards like this one. Uh, so, uh, this is the topic today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And before leaving, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to get updates when we'll put the new video. Thank you very much.